What's up everyone, Willie Apple here, and today Apple has released the fourth beta of macOS Sequoia to developers, and tomorrow I bet they'll release it to the public beta testers. In this video, I'll be showing you what is new inside the software. And before I forget, the update came at 3.39 gigabytes on my M1 MacBook Air. Alright, what is new here inside this fourth beta of macOS Sequoia? Well, the first one has to do with iPhone mirroring. So, you'll notice that upon opening, it works pretty well. And in fact, you're able to use Logitech mouse correctly now. Before, this was a bug listed inside the release notes. But now, you're able to use your Logitech mouse as a little bug fix. And along with that, if you're looking for features, if you were to go to view, you have new options. So you have smaller, which is really tiny. I'm not sure how this will be useful even on a normal MacBook display. So maybe they'll need to make that a little bit bigger. There's actual size, the one that we're used to, and one that will make sense for displays, like external displays. We got a larger option. This makes this a lot more usable now, and it feels really nice that Apple has updated it. It also seems to be a little bit faster as well. Now we have yet another bug fix here inside this latest beta of Sequoia. Before it would just ignore the dock, so now it takes advantage of the dock. It now knows that the dock exists. Before I would just go down here, I'll try to match what it used to look like. Alright, before we would do something like this, where it would just be down here a bit. I'm sure you were able to see that, but now that has been completely fixed here inside this latest beta of Sequoia. Alright, that's really everything that has changed inside this latest beta of macOS Sequoia. So everything else must be bug fixes. And let's take a look at RAM usage from last beta. So for RAM usage, we were at 4.6 gigabytes. Meanwhile, in revision 2 of beta 3, we were at 4.85. And let's take a look at storage usage of the operating system. So we'll go into storage settings, wait for it to load, and we can see macOS is using 27.56 gigabytes on our internal hard drive. So it's a little bit more than revision 2. We'll have to see and wait if it goes down a bit. And yes, Willy Widgets is still broken here inside this latest beta. I'll need to try one thing to see if I can get it working inside of this beta. I think it is possible. I just need to, I just forgot to do a step this entire time. We'll see. But yeah. Thanks for watching, comment, like, subscribe, share this with your friends, follow my apps down in the description down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!